Welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. Today I want to just uh, do a little demonstration of a, a simple way that I do a trot line. I've tried a bunch of those trot lines where you buy them and they've got the, the clip-ons and the swivels and the all that fancy stuff and nine times out of ten I get a fish and it makes a big old mess of my trot line. It ties it up in knots and I finally got tired of sitting there for hours and hours and trying to untangle it and uh, so I just came up with a basic rig and I pretty much call it a disposable trot line so what I do is I take some some circle hooks these are seven knot eagle claws a two liter bottle and a five pound weight since I don't lift weights, I use them for anchors. <laughs> but uh, just depending on how big of a trot line you want to make, how deep the water is, what I do is I'll just take a few hooks. Since the average depth here is about four foot deep, I run maybe about six hooks and make a little, just a little trot line. So what I do is I'll get my hooks, two, three, four, five, six, and then I just have my line, which is this 18-pound mason line. I use pink because it's easy to see if you got it tied off somewhere. So I just thread all my hooks on. Make sure they're all facing the same way. And there's my, my six hooks right there, just on the line. And I just run them down a little bit, tie a knot at the end. And then I tie my bottle. I don't really use any kind of fancy knot. I just wrap it a couple of times and go some overhand knots on it. Wrap it again. And that's on there. So now, what I do is I just bring one hook at a time, slide this line out. Here, just one more. Then I start making my leaders. And all I do is just do a knot, an overhand knot. That one will keep the hook in place. Like that. And then I pull out another, maybe about eight inches, and do another knot. And that makes my leader. That. Now as I go, I I bait it, and I'm going to use my chicken liver chum bait. And I'll just Bait it up. Put 
So once I got it baited, then I slow, I'll just start letting it go out. The benefit of fishing on a river or stream is that the the current will help take the bottle out. So as I let the line out and put the bait in, I just keep tying my hooks with enough space in between so that the hooks don't they can't reach each other and get tangled up. So I just keep going. And maybe. your bait on there. And it's just that easy. That way you don't have to worry about whether it gets tangled or not or spending a bunch of money on on fancy trot lines I mean there's some guys that got those trot lines down to a science don't get me wrong I know they got them in buckets and they they got it all figured out but I'm not that fancy I just just make it where I could just cut the hooks off when I'm done. And get rid of the line and do it all over again. Once you get to the last one, you just give it more. Give it um, right there. Yeah. Give it enough line to tie your tie your weight on. Fancy knot, just some overhand knots. And that's it. Toss it over. And you've got your trot line set. So, just a simple way to set a trot line. Um, I'm sure you guys have your own versions and there's probably hundreds of ways to do it. That's just one of them. That's the way I do it. It's the one that works the best for me. So try it. If you like it, use it. If not, there's all kinds of other ways to do it. Check out the internet. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.